Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. The nullification of Alfred Keter's win is already causing jitters in the Kalenji nation. Earlier today, some residents of Nandi Hills constituency took to the streets and they had this to say. <laughs> Nandi Hills constituency, an area expected to be William Ruto's bedroom. But from the look of things, there seems to be a brewing problem in the Kalenji nation. And William Ruto has to be very, very careful not to antagonize his political bedroom. Because if he does that, then the repercussions can actually be very dire for William Ruto. And that can actually lead into voter apathy and that will actually injure William Ruto seriously in the Kalenji nation. And I'm saying there is a brewing rebellion because if you look at the politics in the Kalenji nation, it's not only in Nandi County. In Wasingishu County, there is a problem. William Ruto is not in terms with a very popular candidate by the name of Buzeki. Buzeki is going as an independent candidate. And there are also some indications that Buzeki might actually just win was in Gishu gubernatorial seat. And then also in Bomed, there is also a problem there. William Ruto is also not in good terms with Isaac Ruto, another, another very popular candidate gunning for Bomed gubernatorial seat. When William Ruto actually was selling some was selling a deal with some parties forming one Kenya forming Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, Isaac Ruto gave that meeting a wide berth. And we are being told from some other information that William Ruto was not interested in signing any deal with Isaac Ruto's party. But from the look of things from the ground, Isaac Ruto is a very popular candidate in that area of Bomet. So it's also possible that Isaac Ruto, through his own party Chamacha Mashinani, can as well go ahead to win that Bomet gubernatorial seat. And also if you look at West Pokot, there is also a problem there. John Lonyangapu is not in good terms with William Ruto. And that can also injure William Ruto in West Pokot County. If you go to El Geo Marakwit, the incumbent governor, Alex Tongos, is not so is not also in good terms with William Ruto. So you can see that across the Kalenji dominated counties in the Rift Valley, there seems to be problems. And I honestly believe that all those areas can just lead to some voter apathy in this year's presidential election. Eh? there can be some kind of voter apathy just as a result of those divisions alone. And then now back to the issue of Alfred Ketel. In the case of Alfred Ketel, it's a very open blunder by William Ruto and his foot soldiers. This is a candidate that was overwhelmingly voted in by residents of Nandi Hills constituency. So if William Ruto can go ahead to deny that kind of a popular candidate the ticket, already the impression is created that Alfred Ketel is very popular there. So even those who are not willing to vote for Alfred Ketel, out of sympathy, can go ahead to vote for Alfred Ketel. And I'm saying that because Alfred Ketel's brand of politics is not something new to the residents of Nandi Hills constituency. Alfred Ketel has actually been speaking out his mind. And that is something the good people of Nandi Hills constituency already know. But still with all that, they decided to nominate him through Uda Party. Mm -hmm. 
So William Ruto denying Alfred Ketel the ticket, in my considered opinion, is an open blunder. A blunder that will cost William Ruto dearly in that area. And then if you look at it again, nationally, there are some narratives William Ruto has been using. Atupangwingwi. Eh? Such kind of narratives. William Ruto denying Alfred Ketel the ticket is creating a, an impression and a perception that William Ruto is not honest or genuine when he talks of Hatupangwingwi. And I'm saying that because just have a look. Before Musalia Mudabadi and Wetangula joined William Ruto, William Ruto was using a very nice narrative. Eh? What wamekaka kwa kona wana panga vio. Eh? And it was gaining some traction. Kenyans were believing William Ruto. But immediately Musalia Mudabadi and Moses Masika Wetangula joined William Ruto. Anytime William Ruto tries to sell that kind of a narrative or agenda, he's just being seen maybe as a mad person. Somebody does not know actually what he's saying. Because you kukangwa kona na kupanga vio, that's exactly what he's doing in his Kenya Kwanza alliance with the likes of Musala Mudabadi. And now in the case of Charles Ketel, Imamu Yatu Pangwingwi is also going, actually that narrative is also going to lack meaning. Because it's almost now certain that William Ruto is very keen on having some kind of leaders in Rift Valley. He's very afraid of some types of leaders in Rift Valley, especially these independent-minded leaders. William Ruto is very much afraid of those kind of leaders. And that can explain why William Ruto, as I talk, is not in good terms with Buzeki, Bundotich, Buzeki. And with, with Bundo Teach. And it also explains why William Ruto is not also in good terms with Isaac Ruto, Bomet governor. It also explains why William Ruto is also not in good terms with the KSS member of parliament, Mishra. Same to John Lunyangapuo. You can see that all these leaders are actually independent minded leaders. William Ruto prefer working with psychophants. William Ruto wants his word to be low, his word to be final. That's exactly what is causing the problem. So William Ruto has to trade very carefully because as much as he might be popular in the college nation, that does, does not mean that he can just do anything and get away with that. I honestly believe that William Ruto is still building himself politically in the college nation. He has not reached that stature of Raila Mulu Udinga in Nyanza. Mm. Raila has actually built himself very well in Nyanza. I'm seeing William Ruto is yet to build, or rather reach the stature of Raila Mulu Udinga in Nyanza. So William Ruto, for him to reach that stature, he has to be very, very careful not to antagonize some of these popular leaders in the Kalenji Rift Valley. If he does that, I'm seeing a looming embarrassment facing William Ruto hey, come August this year's election. And also, as I conclude, I, all, I honestly believe that William Ruto, from the look of things in Rift Valley, William Ruto is underestimating eh, some of these leaders, the likes of Alfred Ketel, the likes of Bundotich, the likes of Kiprop, the likes of Isaac Ruto. William Ruto is underestimating these leaders. If these leaders can actually join efforts together, they will seriously cause serious damage on William Ruto. William Ruto has to be very, very careful as, <coughs> as others approaches. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did indicate when we were starting, in case you've bumped here for the very first time, and so far you have not yet subscribed, Kindly subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans, our subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. To any other person watching us outside Kenya for the very first time, drop a comment. Let us know 
from which part of the globe you are watching us from. God bless you. God bless Kenya.